Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yo, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 413. My name is Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for reals. Hey, it's a two for Tuesday. <clears throat> Great day to have tacos. Be like LeBron. What's up, bro? I see you. Um, it's also a work day and it's time to go, so let's do this. First things first, I'm still the realist. I'm also disciplined. Okay. Disciplined, right? Talking about 413 days in a row. Um, gotten up, taking the trash out, eliminating any negativity that we brought forward from the day before. Whatever happened yesterday, happened yesterday. Today, we got to live in today, right? Easier said than done. So we take the trash out, we focus on what we're thankful for, right? Then we talk about a thought for the day, right? And a positive affirmation, I am, right? Still the realist, got to keep it real, right? And then talk about another positive thing. So I've disciplined myself to where I do that every day. Don't even think about it anymore, just do it. Some days harder than others, but every day gets a little bit easier. And that, then it just goes out, spreads to the rest of my life, right? Could be quicker, right? But we're picking up some momentum now. So anyway, um, my thank yous go out to Jack's first day at PTI. You know, wow. Like for, for people that don't have kids or have kids that, you know, are just quote normal or whatever, however we're going to call them, right? Like dropping off your child at daycare, you know, can be somewhat anxious, right? You know, if, they, if they're not used to the sitter and stuff like that. But with a kid like Jack, you're just waiting for the phone call. You're waiting for the, the, the school to come. Like he's had a meltdown. He tried to hit somebody, pulled somebody's hair, bit somebody, lost his cool. You got to come get him. And then it's like, you know, then there's a whole different range of emotions. There's being upset. You know, you're concerned about your kid, then your day's shot, and then you're a little upset with your kid because why can't you just get along? You know, it's just all of these things. So dropping him off yesterday, it's like, well, I don't think we're going to experience any of that. So I came back here and started working and nothing, right? Emailed with the, the director a couple times, setting up the financial arrangements. That was it, right? Like when we went to go get him, they said he didn't cry anything. It took him a second to figure out that we weren't there. And then he engaged with one of the helpers and... It's all good. So we just got to keep that going. That was day one, right? I'm not saying that we've got this, uh, you know, this is a, 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 you know, let's not take a victory lap. Let's just keep it going. All right. Uh, and then my thought for the day on the spectrum, right? Talking about Jack, right? So, you know, most people don't know what that means. I didn't know what it meant until about a year ago when I started hearing these terms. And over the last 12 months, I've heard all of these different people talk about the attributes of children that are on the spectrum that grow up to be adults that are on the spectrum, right? And often those adults are labeled as odd, difficult to deal with, this, that, and the other. But listen to the list, right? Transitioning. So going from one thing to doing another, right? Again, some kids will pout and fuss like this. It's It can be a full on fist fight with Jack to get him to do from one thing. Hands, right? Getting upset and the hands just start going, right? Um, the, the rage, right? Like, you're like, wow, you're really upset that I took that toy away. Like, shockingly, right? Just a full-on meltdown. A lack of empathy, right? Um, you know, that these, sometimes these kids, they, they don't really, they're just in their own little world. And if other people get in the way, they're just like, Bleh. transactional. Um, they tend to they like to be isolated, kind of be loners, can do their own thing. Uh, the, the sensitivity to sensory stuff, right? So, Bright lights, loud noises, all these things. Well, I see a lot of those kids with the headphones on. It's just too much, right? But here's the thing. All those kids are great at other things. They're ri ridiculously smart. You just have to figure out how to get there. Most people don't have the patience, right? Um, so if on the spectrum were around 50 years ago, I'm certain that I would have been diagnosed. No doubt in my mind, right? Um, and, you know... It's just interesting. I think I've told a couple of you about this. You know, once we found out Jack was going to uh, Path to Independence and that was explained to Addison, Sissy, she went around telling everybody, she's like, yeah, my, my brother Jack has autism, so he's going to uh, Path to Independence. And she's like, oh, my friends don't believe me. I'm like, that's okay, Sissy. It doesn't matter. He, we're getting him the help that he needs. And she's like, why does Jack have autism? I'm like, I don't know, sissy. I think daddy had some autism and like, you know, just part of being my son, he has some. So then she went and told our friends, she's like, my daddy has autism too. So look, um, do I have autism? Probably. Probably got some, right? Let's just be honest about it. Let's keep it real, right? 
Have I learned how to function in spite of that? Yeah, pretty much so. But there's still things I struggle with. But as an adult, it's different, right? And so um, I, I guess the, the way I'll wrap this up is that many people didn't, didn't or don't know what on the spectrum looks like, right? Uh, again, we think of kids with autism. We think of Rain Man. We think of Warren from, um, you know, there's something about Mary. We should think about Jack too, right? There's a lot of kids like Jack out there. And it's like, oh, they're shy or they're this or they're that. And then, you know, once you've been through it, you see these other kids hiding underneath tables, lining up their cars, can't speak, blah, blah, blah. Like, you should get that kid some help, right? But that's the parent's responsibility, right? And so uh, either they don't want to engage or they don't want to admit that they need to engage. And I feel like, you know, maybe that's going to be Jack and one of our things, right? Is that we just show other people like, look, being on the spectrum has takes all different faces. So anyway, Jack's where he needs to be, right? <clears throat> And now you guys are aware too. So with that, we're done for today. Hands up, peace out. We're better together. Appreciate you stopping by, <clears throat> putting up with my on the spectrum ass. And we'll see you tomorrow on a hub day. Deuces. Love you guys. For real. Thanks for stopping by.